The Islamic values and cultural practices of American Muslims can play a role in community health disparities by influencing health behaviors and health care seeking patterns and presenting challenges within the health care system. This report, produced by the Institute for Social Policy and Understanding, provides an overview of American Muslim health beliefs, describes how these beliefs impact health care seeking practices, and recommends accommodations that can improve the health care experience of American Muslim patients. Understanding the links between Islamic beliefs and practices and their influence on clinical encounters provides opportunities to improve community health and deliver culturally sensitive, high-quality care. The recommendations in this report are based on a community-based participatory research project designed to better understand the factors that influence American health behaviors and challenges. The research was conducted in southeastern Michigan, which is home to one of the longest standing and largest Muslim American communities estimated to number around 200,000 individuals. Focus group participants revealed experiences with healthcare providers who lacked knowledge about their faith and cultural practices. There was an expectation that providers should have a basic level of knowledge about their patients. As one frustrated patient remarked, a lot of doctors ask really basic things when they should already know that stuff one participant wished that healthcare providers would have a basic understanding of American Muslims in order to decrease the burden of having to explain their culture and religious beliefs and practices. Another suggested it would be good for hospitals to do some training to teach health providers about our religion and our culture. Too many don't know the beliefs and the way Muslims behave. Additionally, participants asserted that Muslims are often stereotyped and generalized despite the community's diversity. Participants advocated that cultural competency efforts should educate healthcare practitioners about basic Islamic beliefs and practices, thus helping to reduce stereotypical care and discrimination. Participants also said that Muslim patients run the risk of being treated negatively when requesting accommodations for their religious and cultural beliefs. One participant related her experience with a male doctor who became upset after she requested a female OBGYN. At times, providers may not take such requests seriously, thinking it's a big joke or a bunch of foolishness they don't want to be bothered with. Participants clarified that if health care practitioners understood why these accommodations were requested, they would be more likely to treat Muslim patients with respect and create a more welcoming atmosphere. Given that negative health care experiences can impact health care seeking patterns, making an effort to accommodate Muslim patients can lead to greater provider patient trust, which will ultimately impact health care seeking patterns and compliance with suggested treatments. Participants noted that these accommodations could be provided rather easily and required some flexibility in strategic planning. Health care accommodations that were identified as priority were gender concordant care, halal food, and prayer space. Participants requested gender concordant care based upon Islamic conceptions of modesty and privacy. Some of them further described how the lack of female personnel may play a role in delaying or avoiding health care services. One participant said, yeah, I would not even walk into a clinic that I didn't have a choice of the gender of a doctor. Therefore, health systems should ask patients if they prefer same-gender providers and make good-faith efforts to do so when requested. The focus group participants suggested these ways to accommodate and respect patient privacy and modesty. Knocking and waiting for permission to enter so that, patient, so that patients can dress appropriately. For example, some Muslim women may want to don the headscarf or hijab. Providing hospital gowns and clothing that accommodate patient preferences for modesty and privacy. Placing at the patient's request or offering the option of a sign designating the room as a same gender provider only. And informing a patient in advance that a person of the other gender may need to enter the room. The provision of halal 
Islamically slaughtered food was also identified as an important health care accommodation. Hospitals should provide halal foods and medications to alleviate the stress and discomfort caused by being confronted with food and substances that violate their religious beliefs. Participants voiced that hospitals need to take the initiative to ask every patient, do you have any dietary restrictions or preferences? Prayer space is an important health care accommodation due to prayer's role in healing and as a ritual five-time daily obligation. Some hospitalized participants mentioned being interrupted while praying and experiencing discomfort. Health systems should consider allocating space for Muslim Muslims to pray. As some patients may pray in their hospital rooms, staff should be made aware of this practice and told not to disturb praying participants. The report details many other challenges in providing culturally sensitive health care to American Muslim patients. For example, some health care providers see the ritual fasting associated with Ramadan as harmful to the body. Yet participants in the study affirmed that this practice can be essential to maintaining their faith identity and is of primary importance as it is seen as a means of purifying the body and soul. The report stresses the continuing need for health care providers to improve their level of cultural sensitivity. This important report can be accessed from the URL identified on this slide. The final slide in this presentation identifies an additional resource providing practical advice and information for health care providers. It is designated to answer some of the more common questions about Muslim patients and the religious practices of Islam which affect health care. The URL for this resource is listed on this slide.